Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, we have been going on cash flow, but um, take uh, just one session break and talk about Business Central, uh, the app actually. So Business Central obviously comes with an app. You can go into the Microsoft uh, store and pick up the app. Uh, it's right next to the Dynamics NAV app, the old one. So there's a new one here. I noticed though, I mean, it's a new app that uh, the scaling is a little bit uh, small. Maybe it's different than your screen and maybe there's actually a setting you can set up, uh, but it does come in uh, fairly small. So it's, it's not scaling properly, but uh, I'm sure they're working on that. It's a very new product. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to do is, uh, so you can see here that just looks like as, you, as if you logged in online, it's exactly the same. Uh, and it's running in app mode on your system. Uh, if I actually go into the customer list, this is a really neat feature. Uh, oops, I can't spell customer. There we go, customers. And right now I am actually connected to the cloud. I just logged in. All I had to do was give my login credentials, uh, my email address and my password, and I was in. Didn't have to put in a server, didn't have to do any configuration, nothing at all, just straight into the system, which is fantastic. Uh, definitely a, a huge improvement. So I'm running this app here. I have a list of customers. Uh, I hope you can see that they have the names here as well. And I want to do edit in Excel. So I want to edit the customers in Excel, right? I want to change something about the customers in Excel. And I just click that button, it opens up Excel. I hit enable editing. And what it does, it actually logs in uh, into Excel and logs into this part of Excel, which is a Dynamics add-in, which automatically kind of configures itself. I did not have to do any configuration at all. And it brings my customer list in here. I hope you can see that. And let's say, uh, <clears throat> We got the name of School of Fine Art uh, wrong. Um, maybe we want to call it School of Very Fine Art. <laughs> All right. So now I changed the name of this customer, right? Now it's Very Fine Art. It hasn't changed up here. You can see the customer up here. I know you have to kind of zoom in on it, but it still says School of Fine Art. But I have changed it over here in School of Very Fine Art. So all I have to do is just hit publish on the side here in my little add-in. And if I take a look at the uh, system over here and just refresh, now you can see that it's School of Very Fine Art. Uh, the name has changed. So I can click on that here, School of Very Fine Art. So I edited it in Excel. It's been edited in Excel. And I can change anything right here amazing so if i need to do mass changes to the customer bring them in here change them publish boom done amazing we by the way we did have this feature before but you had to set it up and it had, it, you had to get web services configured uh, authentication all kinds of stuff it's complicated there is no setup if you're running business central you can do this now no one has to help you. You're just in. So awesome. Thumbs up if you like this. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Business Central is really cool. Thank you.